All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So guess what? I know it's only April, but it's time to book your next winter vacation, especially if you're a skier or snowboarder and you want to do something around Christmas time, you're going to want to hear this. So Hyatt just announced that their brand new luxury ski resort, the Grand Hyatt Deer Valley in Utah, is starting to take reservation starting from December 20th and beyond. So that's very exciting news because we can actually help you save a lot of money by using points and redemption. So let's take a look over here. Look at that. Wow. Looks really nice, right? Grand Hyatt Deer Valley. So they said that they're going to have over 400 rooms, about 55 suites, and they're even going to include some private residence, which means that if you love it so much there that you can even live there, they're going to have uh, year round heated pools, kids club, and most importantly, this resort is going to be a ski in and ski out resort. So if you're a skier, snowboarder, that's just added convenience. I know when I go skiing, that's what I like. But what's most important for you is how we can save money by using points, right? So let's take a look over here. So first, I want to show you guys that Christmas is wide open for a redemption. So let's select December 24th to December 26th, right? Smack in the middle of Christmas. That's Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And right over here, two Queen Bet Village view, starting from 29,000 points per night. That's great because in the points game, the best ability is availability. Remember that. <laughs> okay, so we want to compare it to uh, the cash price, obviously. So let's take a look over here. Two queen beds, village view. Look at that. Wow. $1,049 per night. That's insane, right? But, you know, I, I get that this is a, a brand new luxury ski resort, but that's still pretty expensive. So we definitely want to use points to save some money. So exactly how much? Let's take a look uh, using our calculator calculator okay uh for those of you who have been with me for a while on this channel now you guys know that i like to use the calculator to calculate exactly how much percent off we're getting right because we want to know if we don't have these kind of information how are you going to know that you're actually making the right choice by using points and how are you going to know that this is actually a good deal right so we must do the math we must do our calculation if this is the kind of content that you like make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel we do a lot of this over here and uh yeah great to have you guys anyways so twenty nine thousand points and i'm gonna assume that you guys have no higher points at all okay but hyatt is a transfer partner for chase so you can transfer your chase points over to hyatt okay so again transferable points we're going to value it at two cents per piece so we're going to multiply twenty nine thousand by 0 0.02 so two cents per piece that's going to be 580 dollars okay so this is your cost 580 dollars we're going to divide it by the uh, 1049 dollars per night you're essentially only paying 55%, which also means if we minus one, you're getting a discount about 44.7%. It's almost half off. That's insane. You're only paying $580 for a night that goes for $1,049. And if you're actually staying for two nights, then you're saving almost $1,000. So that's quite substantial. And here's the thing. I don't expect this kind of availability to last forever. I'm actually assuming that it's going to go away fairly quickly because I know a lot of people are skiers, snowboarder, and they want to go try this new luxury ski resort. So I already know that a lot of people are trying to book their room. So they're probably only going to have limited space anyway for uh, these kind of redemptions. So you want to basically uh, jump on this opportunity. Let's take a, a uh, closer look. Um, if you want to book suites, if you want to straight out, just use points to book suites, you can toggle over to suites. And over here, we have three different kinds of standard suite that you can 
book using points and two premium suites that you can use points with. But uh, let's just concentrate on the standard suites for now. 44,000 points. And this is a 710 square foot suite. That's pretty good size. And look at this one over here. Hospitality suite. It's 1,200 square feet. That's crazy. So if you have enough points, if you want to, you know, use your points, go for it. And or if you have uh, the globalist status, then uh, you can see if you can get an upgrade to uh, the standard suite because uh, you're eligible for that. If by the time that you check in and it's available now, what are the chances? I can't tell you don't have a crystal ball, but you know, you can you can try. And one good thing is that since this is a Grand Hyatt, then uh, I'm sure you're going to have uh, free breakfast. You're going to have late checkout if you are a Obelisk member. So make sure to um, put in your login and everything when you book. If you're not a globalist, that's OK. Still use your login when you book the room. You're just going to be racking up those points or you're just going to be racking up those elite qualifying nights. And one day you will become a globalist. That's OK. And guess what? I'm here to help you. We talk about this kind of stuff almost daily. So once again, if you like our content, if you find value in our content, then please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys next time.